The recurring feature is something that's built into all standard Gateway accounts and is a free service. To access it, you go to Recurring in the main menu, and there's a few options here. There's two options for subscriptions and for plans, and it's important to know the difference between the two. A plan is the rules for how much you're going to charge someone. It's the how much, how often, and for how long. Meanwhile, subscriptions are your customers. Those are who are going to be attached to these plans. So I could be a subscriber, and I would have a subscription, and I would be subscribed to one of the plans that I've created. So to get going, let's add a plan first. And that takes me to a page where I can enter all the information for the plan. So I need to enter how much. I'll do $10. And I can say charge the customer every 30 days, every 100 days, every two days, whatever works for me. Or I can choose to charge on the, we'll say the first day of every one month up to every 24 months. We'll do just a regular monthly subscription. So this will be the first day of every month I want this to run. And then how long do I want this to go? Charge until canceled, in which case I will have to go in here and remove the subscription to stop charging anyone to subscribe to it, or charge them a certain number of times. We're going to call this a charge until canceled plan so that I have to go in here and cancel the subscriptions for the customers if they ever decide to stop wanting whatever services is for. I also have to give this a name and an ID. The name is how it'll show on my list plans page, and the plan ID will be used for merchants using our Quick Click or API services. Once all that's entered, I can hit save. There we go. So now if I go over to recurring and list plans, I can see my test plan here with the plan ID and a brief description of what it is every first day of the month and for $10. So now I'm ready to add some subscribers to this. So I go over to recurring. We're going to add a subscription. I can choose between adding someone who's going to pay with credit card or electronic check. I'll do credit card. And then you're taken to a page that is very similar to the sale page. But there's no shipping information, there's only customer billing information, and there's no amount fields. I just enter their card info. So I've entered a card, and I'm going to give them a name. Perfect. So then I can choose to send an email receipt. This will send an email receipt every time recurring is run if there's a successful transaction. So I'll hit continue. Then I get to choose what plan I want to subscribe them to. There's the test plan here. And when I select it, the billing cycle updates to say every first day of the month. And the first charging day starts charging the customer on, this is April 1st, which is the next first of the month. I can hit save and that'll subscribe them to this plan. Alternatively, I can click here to create a new billing plan just for this customer. It's that same information we entered on the plan page. I just have to give all of that here. I can set the first charge date. And if I want, I can even save this for future use. For our purposes, I'm going to go back here and use the test plan. All right, so it's been added. Now, when I go back to my list subscriptions, I can see my active subscriptions, and here's Jane Doe attached to the test plan with the card number, when it was added, and how many payments they've made. If I have a lot of subscriptions, I can use the search fields up here to filter down to specific ones. And if I click into the name, I can see information on the customer, I can edit any of this information whenever I'd like, including changing their plan. So if I have other plans, I could change them to a different one. I could change the next charge date for them. Or I can switch them to a custom plan and edit that to be whatever I want it to be. If I ever want to delete the customer, I can go up here and hit delete. Additionally, if I go to recurring and then list my plans again, I can see my test plan. And when I look at this now, I can still make edits to it. However, there's a warning up here that says this plan is used by one customer. And all customers using this plan will be affected by your changes. So if I have, this, I only have one right now, but if I had hundreds of people subscribed to this plan, any changes would impact all of them. I can also delete plans. And when I delete it, the plan has been deleted. And then there's this extra message down here that says your subscribers are still subscribed and they will still be charged on this schedule. Would you like to also delete those subscriptions that were associated with this plan? If I do, I can do that. And now all of those subscriptions are gone as well. The recurring module is a nice and convenient way to charge your customers on a regular basis with plenty of control to be able to charge them exactly how you see fit.